Well, joining me now is somebody that's really special in my life. She is a good friend of mine, Madeline Bernstein. And Madeline is the president of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, Los Angeles. Now, Madeline, um, <laughs> Madeline is also the author of a brand new book, Designer Dogs, an expose inside the criminal underworld of crossbreeding. Now, I jumped, jumped at the chance to write the foreword to this book because I want people to understand all options when considering adopting a dog. Now, Madeline has some very important information about where designer dogs come from and why adopting is so important. And I said she's very special in my life because Madeline was involved when I adopted uh, my dog, Maggie. And I, Robin and I adopted Maggie when she was like eight weeks old. And she was, um, uh, we had her for 13 years until just this spring. And uh, we lost, uh, we lost Maggie. Uh, she, she had kidney failure. And so, and I, I wrote you at the time. And by the way, he was providing dialysis and everything for Maggie. But this is the guy you're talking to here. He wrote me to thank me for allowing him to have the adoption in the first place. It's a real deal. Well, I wanted you to know, because I mean, it was, this was my white shadow. I mean, she was just a best friend for 13 years. She was so, <laughs> so special to us. Well, Madeline, let's talk about this book because I, I said I jumped at the chance. Designer dogs, uh, these, was there really a surge with social media when these dogs, uh, people, this became really in vogue, right? Yes, and now people don't talk about dogs as cute or adorable. They talk about them as Instagram worthy. There are Boxy Bull and how, how do you pronounce some of these? Chewarrier. Chewarrier. Well, so if, if you read the book, you'll see the story of the Labradoodle, and that's what really started it. Right. And if you read this, he regrets having done it. So right. with someone who has a shelter full of, of dogs, when this whole designer dog thing started, which is basically people are saying, I have a purebred Labradoodle. People, what's a mix between a Labrador and a Poodle? A mutt, right? So yeah. you're talking to someone here who basically had shelters full of designer dogs, right? Right. Good. Well, tell us about Winter. Well, Winter is actually uh, one of my dogs. There's the white Pomeranian. Winter has got all the puppy mill problems. She was in our shelter in desperate shape. She weighed a pound and a half, had open wounds, was completely matted, covered with fleas, was very sick. And I was at the shelter doing something else. And we saw Winter and I said, I'll just take her home and get her in shape, you know, make her well, and then we'll be able to put her up for adoption. And of course, now people yell at me and go, in your position, why do you have a dog like that? You know, that's a designer dog. And I'm like, if you saw what Winter looked like, I mean, she was vicious, she was mean, she was sick. Of course, once the pain stopped, right. um, and she felt better, and she gained some weight, and of course, at that point, nobody would let me put her up for adoption. Um, so, but she has all the puppy mill dog problems. Yeah, but I have this theory that, and I'm, I truly believe this, that when you rescue a dog, that dog knows they've been rescued. I, I mean, I, I believe Maggie knew that she had been rescued. And, and it's like they forever are devoted, like you saved me and I'm gonna devote my life to you. Before I go, I wanna share one last picture. It's my favorite picture of Maggie with my assistant, Barbara. That's Maggie, and if dogs can smile, is that dog smiling or what? Um, and that's what you get when you get a rescue dog. Right. That's not some designer dog, that's a rescue dog. Right, if we stop the demand, we can stop the supply. And that is really, you know, the message here. Go to the shelters, adopt a dog that's already in existence, and let's ignore the, the puppy millers to death, basically. Yeah. Well, listen, the book, 
The book is Designer Dog, Designer Dogs and Expose Inside the Criminal Underworld of Crossbreeding. Uh, I wrote the foreword. And this is not a depressing book. It is a very informative, heartwarming book. I want you to get this book. I want you to read this book. And then I want you to become a soldier in the Army. And this woman is leading the charge. She is leading the fight.